Can you call my, can you call Hunter? Yeah, you can't call her? No, I need you to go. Oh, you just talked to her a minute ago? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Of course, I will. But you have to admit, it kind of looks lovely, doesn't it? No. It's obnoxious. Oh, yeah. Take it down. Yes. Mr. Garrett, it's a soul for the holidays. Bring it down there. Really? Miss Amy, do you see how we get to unfair to be featuring Christmas? If you do have a tree, why don't you celebrate all the other holidays? Where's the menorah? Well, my apologies. I didn't know you were Jewish. I'm not either. You're missing my point. Take the tree down so no one else gets hurt, okay? Mr. Beer, it's not that easy. It has to go through the board. Well, maybe I'll just go tell the board about this little incident with the extension cord. Okay, Mr. Beer. But if I may make one small request. What? Please don't sue me. <laughs> Back to your love life for a quick sec. How did I do all these feel today? I'm trying to lift your spirits, buddy. Her name is Haley. And after I told her about you, she said you sounded, and I quote, delightful. Then you've clearly deceived the world. <laughs> okay, you do have your moments, but I don't go to the heart of there waiting to get thawed out. Can I be frank with you, Frank? Of course. Ever since my stroke, I've had this pent up bitterness over the fact that it derailed my life and certain things trigger it, especially Christmas. I'm working on it, okay? I know you are. That kind-hearted, sensitive guy that I grew up with is still in there somewhere. We just gotta coax him back out again. Maybe a date with Haley will do the trick. You are relentless. Think about it. All right. She's doing pretty good. She... She usually has that thing eaten by the time I get done news and resting, but she's... I know, she's pretty quick on that. It doesn't take a long to fuss around, does it? But this time she's spending a lot more time on it. Is she? Yeah. Maybe it tastes better. Yeah, it does. Here, let me uh, grab some... I gotta wash my hair. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, you know. Alright, here you go. Hey, it's Jeremy, right? Yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah, I know. Turns out it happens every month. Didn't you teach you that in biology class? Of course. So how's the boat anyway? Messy. Messy? No, that's not good. I mean, I talked to the cooks about that. It wasn't that. It was uh, I tripped on it all. Boat and I took it home. Oh, are you okay? Oh, yeah. It was salvageable and it's really cool Good. So you'll be back? Yeah. I think so. Well, um, in case you forgot, my name is Noah. I remember. Jeremy, can I ask you something? Absolutely. I'm a little conflicted. Over which cereal to buy, there's just so many choices. Yeah, it's just a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? If you were having breakfast, what would you pick? Well, for me, it's oatmeal. I think that I'm really just an eight-year-old man. Oh, no, there's nothing wrong with oatmeal. Oh, no, great. I'm just looking for something a bit more exciting. Mm. I didn't always like sweet pops when I was a kid. Mmm, gotta have my pops. And then frozen flakes was a good choice. Very right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a 
like you watch just as much TV as a kid as I did. I go serial what I look for these days is find the content. Yeah, I said that wrong, didn't I? Okay, yeah. I see. Complained. He said it was obnoxious and a liability, and the combo board agreed. Obnoxious? That's what he said. Yes, Mr. Gerard hadn't been in two to four, would he? Oh, you know him? No, I mean, I never met him actually. He just kind of seems like a total jerk. Yes, well, I just started this new thing where I'm trying really hard not to judge others. So. I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> well, good luck. See you later. Thank you. Well, I'm so glad you got here before Bert. Okay, yeah, why is that? It's no big deal. There's just a couple of things you need <coughs> to know before you meet her. I'm so sorry, I'm just finding out that. <coughs> okay, I might like what? Minor things. I mean, nothing horrible. You guys, you're making really sound like I'm being set up some sort of nut case. No, no, I don't. I, I don't know, Mark. Uh, would we call Bert a nut case? Maybe more like an outsider. That sounds very convincing. I should go check on the roast. Shannon, what have you gotten me into? Posting on social media so I come look him up. I know, I know. I thought that was refreshing until I found out why. Okay, and why? He's been banned from all social media platforms. Not banned? Just from spreading misinformation. Oh my gosh. It's fine. He has a lot of good qualities. Like? He's single. That's not a quality. I bet you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring my new sister to join us. Let's go. Wow, your house is very clean. Thanks. Hi. Allow me to introduce you to my lovely sister. Well, that's why I'm here. This is Noelle. Hi. Can I have a fist bump? I don't do handshakes. It's germs. <laughs> Um, <laughs> can I get you something to drink, Bert? Sure. Something non-alcoholic. Oh, you're in the background. Oh, nothing with any artificial colors or flavorings or high fructose corn syrup. Okay. So tap water. Okay, I'm gonna come by. You can. Is it filtered? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's fine. Yeah. Mark, um, I have some water as well. My mouth suddenly feels very dry. <laughs> you got it. Yes. I'm gonna go help Mark. Well, I think she's finally yeah, done with her pig ear. Really? <laughs> All right. Absorb, but um, here you go. <clears throat> so, has anyone read any great 
books lately? Well, I only read nonfiction. Isn't that so? Yeah, I mean, who would want to read a story somebody just made up? I heard they prefer made up stories. I didn't mean. Come on, Bert. Some of the greatest books ever written are fiction. I mean, think of the novels of Twain, Dickens, Jane Austen. Who? Listen, fiction is pointless. Nonfiction is real. It teaches us something. Well, I probably should not ask you if you've seen any great movies lately. Uh, don't get me started on movies. Uh, why don't we eat up while it's still hot? Yes, let's focus on eating as quickly as possible. Holiday hotline. Let's talk tacky. Well, you're buying a 20 pound turkey and yeah. it's frozen solid. I can help. You just have to trust me. He's on the line. I'd really love it if you could come over. Holiday hotline. All new to 98 on Hallmark. It's his first night on the job. Holy Chris. Sam's my dad. Oh, 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 no. And he's got some big boots to fill. Chewy. You couldn't do real. Catch me in two claws. All the things give me my date on Hallmark. There's one of the best endured generations being shared around the world. And is still the best selling book of all time. There is more to the story. Explore the book you thought you knew at Museum of the Bible. We go in and it might be small, but it's packed full of fun. What's your favorite animal? Chickens, of course. Did you know they've got the biggest beak as any bird? Nico taught me that. Just another day with one of the coolest robots ever. Sports device not included. When migraine strikes, you're faced with a choice. Ride it out with the trade-offs of treating, or push through the pain and symptoms. With you grounded, there's another option. One dose works fast to eliminate migraine pain. Treat it anytime, anywhere, without worrying where you are or if it's too late. Do not take the strong symptom A4 inhibitors. Allergic reactions to you broadly can happen. Most common side effects are nausea and sleepiness. Migraine pain relief starts with you. Ask about the growth. Learn how to it to help you sleep. Yep. She's a good doggy. This holiday season, WeatherTech offers a variety of amazing gifts for everyone. Laser magic floor liners and cargo liners that fit vehicles perfectly. The cup phone to secure phones in any cup holder. And cup coffee yeah, the insurance the pet feeding system to feed pets safely. For wild yeah, under the gift card and cheese. Order these American made products and pay for it Rivertech.com. And happy holidays. Everything uh, else. I don't know. Yeah. I do. Treat yourself. But it's like, I think there's, I think it's all clumped into one thing. It's, it's like Alejandro's car and my car. And so, yeah. I think there's somebody that has a birthday coming up pretty soon. I wonder who that could be. Mona, are you having a birthday, sweetheart? What are you talking about? Her birthday is every day, she said. <laughs> right, honey, yeah. bunny? Yeah. Every day is a good day for Mona. Every day is a good day for Nova.
Okay, there's this behind you. Maybe I'm being delusional, but I really feel like there's something there. 